New Zealand sea lions, Phocarctus hookeri, also known as hooker's sea lion, or whakahau in Māori, are primarily found on New Zealand's sub-Antarctic Auckland and Campbell Islands. To some extent, they can also be found on the coast of New Zealand's South and Stewart Islands. They are probably the world's rarest sea lion, with numbers totalling around 10,000. Appearance-wise, there are a couple of easy ways to tell the difference between the males and females of the species. Beginning with size, the females weigh in at around 100 to 160 kilos, while males are around twice their size, tipping the scales at a hefty 250 to 400 kilos. Their colouring is different too, with males being dark brown or grey in colour, while the females are a light sandy brown. As the New Zealand sea lion grows into adulthood, females will give birth for the first time at about the age of four, while males begin holding and defending their breeding territory at around eight to nine years of age. With any luck, they'll make it to their 21st birthday, which is the life expectancy for a New Zealand sea lion. But that's if they don't fall prey to a shark first, which are their most common predators. During the breeding season, mature males, or bulls, will create a breeding territory called a lek, where they may defend a harem of more than two dozen females. They will mate shortly after these females have given birth to their pups. But it's not all romance and roses for the bull, as they must constantly defend their harem from the attentions of other bachelor bulls. Young male sea lions will often stalk around the periphery of the lek and occasionally challenge the dominant bull. If they get lucky, while the dominant male is preoccupied defending the rest of his harem from other keen admirers, they'll be able to mate with one of the females on the outer edges of the bull's breeding territory. But while the bull is busy defending his leg, there's no rest for the females, who become receptive to mating again just six to seven days after giving birth to their pups. At this stage, the dominant male will mate with the females on his breeding territory, and then 11 months later, the female will give birth again. Pupping begins in early December and ends in early January, and females will give birth to a single pup every one to two years. Whilst there's no loyalty when it comes to their mating behaviour, sea lions do like to return to a familiar location when they breed, and this is most often the same beach on which they were born. Once born, the pup is moved by the mum from the beach to a place further inland, using the trees and shrubs for shelter. Mum will spend the next year busily foraging for food at sea, diving to amazing depths and distances, and suckling her pup on land. And all the while, she'll probably be pregnant with her next one. At the end of the year, the female will go through the entire mating ritual again, just a few short days after birthing. Phew, it's a tough life for a New Zealand sea lion. For more information about the fascinating flora and fauna of New Zealand's sub-Antarctic islands, check out sirpeterblaketrust.org.